Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Villains Podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I am Brian Prime and Peacock. And for the first time ever, Blackbeard Bob in the flesh. Oh yeah, he's Blackbeard Bob now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was, uh, uh, oh my god. Wow, Bearded Bob. You're bad. Bearded Gaming <laughs> Entertainment. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. It is late. It is late. Even I'm up late. Uh, so we've been hanging out all day for the first time in... What, almost ten years? Is it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Six? Seven? Is it seven? We've been together almost eight. Thirteen. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, okay, so yeah. seven. Like ten. Holy crap. <laughs> I just round up, man, okay? Fair. That's easier. That's fair. It's easier on all of us. And you just met Brian for the first time. Yep. No, you guys came close to running in the same circles from the sounds of it. Yeah, maybe. With the band thing. Uh, we both played music in high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, was, it was close. Okay, maybe, yeah. Maybe just loose ties. I don't know. <laughs> did, did we graduate around the same year? I graduated in 05. Oh, Lord, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I graduated in 2010. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, you're old. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Jeez. I feel it, man. <laughs> I spent all weekend fighting. Yeah, I feel I feel old as hell, especially today. You did do a lot of fighting. I did. Which you'll find out about that in the new video going up, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> hopefully. By the way, I think I'm just going to use um, the girl that we use her music for the Renaissance Festival. I really wish I knew her name. Violinist. Oh, okay. Just start using her music. Yeah. It's really good. She's like open people to using it. That's good. Yo, so. oh, that reminds me. I gotta look something up. It's got nothing to do with this thing. It's okay. Be, it's got to do with the other channel we Way were talking to be about. Maybe unprepared. Not channel, but the other project. Project. Your new project. Yeah. Your... The, we, the new project that I've already started. Yeah. <laughs> Forever ago. <laughs> <laughs> the rebranding of the old project. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. If you're even tuned. You could be out of tune. Could, we're we're in probably which case, all out get of in tune. tune. Get in tune, get good. Get good, scrub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you play Dag. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, he might if he ever gets into it up there. I doubt it. I have enough to worry that's about. That's true. You like you don't have time to play video games. No. You can never have too many hobbies. Oh, shit. That is Brian's life philosophy. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you see the garage? That's all of his hobbies. Yeah, I barely have time to sleep. And you didn't. You probably didn't see the RC drift cars, the drones, drones. the video drones, and the racing drones. I told him we bought drones. <clears throat> yeah, there's which. no way. No way I would have time for all that. Racing drones are so hard. I guarantee those drones that we bought, they're 4K. Yeah, four, so is your action camera. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. It's as 4K as my action camera is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Which understand. I'm assuming is not very 4K. No. It's like standard def. I don't understand how they can advertise it as 4K. It's bizarre. Because they just stole your money. Yeah. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I got a ton of accessories, though. Did you? <laughs> I did. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Rachel just bought a little camera like that too. Yeah. Yep. A little point and shoot or a little action camera. A little like little GoPro looking thing. Yeah. Yeah. For what? Why not? Whatever. Why not? Yeah. She used it to take I mean, on her trip. Part of mine was it came with like a waterproof case. Yep. So did hers. I wonder if she bought the same one. I don't know. Mine's like a yee yee. A yee, y- huh? <laughs> yeah. It's Dang. literally. I think that's what it's called. Y i. Let's see. Yee. Yee. It's a yee. We were talking about taking that and attaching it to like a shield, yeah, or something. Yeah, that would be cool. Because then we're we're actually getting action shots with it. But I think Lance said no in case he hits somebody with it. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what she got. Yeah, that's what we have. A Vision Three. No, but it's the exact same thing. It's teen. That's that's one of them little white out things. It's teeny tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. And then she said she got all kind of little accessories for it, but I don't think she sent me any pictures of it. Yeah, no, that's that's my garbage camera. <laughs> Hopefully it's better. Yeah, I don't know. There's literally a million of them with just different she logos. She said she brought it, but didn't bring an SD card. 
That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> right? That's Jeez. great. That's helpful. That's so again, she, she never welcome got to, to adulthood. Test it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so she never got to test it. I don't think so. Dang. Yeah, I, should... I doubt it's got some kind of internal memory. Nope. Mine doesn't. But yeah, I got mine because like, we had a waterproof Kodak camera and it died. Yeah. Oh, well, it didn't die. It broke. <laughs> it's like Basically it's the died. same thing. There's like a little latch on the bottom that latched the battery and the memory card inside of it, and uh, that little latch broke. broke. Yeah. So I could probably keep using it somehow. Duct tape. Yeah, but it's also an old Kodak. It's probably not HD or anything. That's probably not even D. No, <laughs> probably not. It might be. I don't know. I took uh, I took. I could probably draw a better picture. Probably. I took underwater <laughs> video of it at the cruise. I did, like I went down the water slide with it. Really? <laughs> went into the yeah, into the pool. <laughs> That's the only underwater thing I ever did with it. No. I took it to uh Margaritaville. Did I ever tell you guys about that? Wait, were you nope. the were the, you wasting away? Yeah. In Margaritaville. Kinda. We well we almost got killed. <laughs> like the ocean. Okay then. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, those got. those waters got rough. Did they? I told Kim and my brother to get out. <laughs> yeah. But they had so yeah, Margaritaville in Mexico, it was like a roped off section they had because it like it the like, gringos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it was too. Oh god. But they had like, you know, inflatable things you could play on, like trampolines and things. Oh, okay. So that was what was out there, and I, I of course, I'm, I'm fatty, so I couldn't climb on any of them. <laughs> <laughs> but my brothers did, and yeah, those waters got rough as hell. Now I'm just used to it because we've been in the ocean during very rough storms and stuff, mm-hmm. really whatever. But yeah, it was it was rough. Huh. Um, there's like oh, I recorded some of that with that, like waterproof camera. That's pretty cool. That's why I got it because that one busted. I think I spent... How much did she spend on hers? Not much? Uh, 30 bucks? Isn't that about what I spent on mine? I think so. I think I'm, so I'm, I'm around twenty. I'm really guesstimating there, yeah, but I well, want to say it was like 30 bucks. Yeah, probably not a lot more than that. Mine was like 20-something, I think. And it came with like 25 accessories. And then that thing I got today is another mount for it. She got, I think, like a little tripod thing or like maybe just like a stick thing. Okay. And I don't remember what else she got, because this was, like, at least three days ago. Okay. You see, I got the thing to go on tripods. I got the waterproof bit. I got a bunch of bits that you can, like, attach to your arm. Mm-hmm. Um, then a bunch of, like, 3M sticky pads. Uh, which, to put those things on, the mount that they have to go on, mm-hmm. that thing's never coming off. I almost had to hammer that thing on. Because it's just, like, it's a buckle. Yeah. But this extremely rigid plastic, it's probably that way on purpose. So it doesn't, you know, come off yeah. on accident? But yeah. it was like, and clicked it in there. It was, well, it was a pain. It's sturdy. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it won't be that hard to take out. It is. Is it? I tried. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's well, not going to yeah, Just, hey, disregard. I need to, like, <laughs> get a flathead screwdriver and just rip it out. It'll probably break it. They're well, cheap. That, no, breaking is not a good idea. <laughs> I, it'd probably be easier to just scrape the uh, 3M sticky stuff off and replace it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> other than that, I don't think you have any use for the other bit. And of course, I got that new mount. Uh, we need to get the headgear one. <laughs> that would be the easiest thing. I've I seen think, them. I think I have one. I mean, is it in the camera bag? I know you had a bunch of random ones. Yeah. Oh, no. Never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Okay. I'm thinking of my headlamp I used to have. Oh, I have, <laughs> I have a couple of them. Those things are pretty, uh... We could probably just attach yeah. it to it somehow. Oh, we probably could. And then the headlamp could provide good light. <laughs> there was a what guy, I want to do with it... Go ahead. There's a guy I worked with that, that brought one of those to work one day. He's like, yeah, check it out. It strobes. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> great but... When are you going to need that? When you want to throw your own little party. <laughs> you put on some, like, dumb stuff, and you just click, click, put it on strobe. Yeah, and just like, man, he's like, Absolutely. yeah, check it out. Like, 
Dude, stop. <laughs> Don't blind me with that thing. <laughs> didn't, that happen, didn't that happen to you during the hurricane? You want to go use a little flashlight to the stroke? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Why? Why? I hate that. There should be a separate button. Why is that even a function on a it's headlamp? It's like an emergency thing. So people can find you. Or you can just turn the light on. Uh, I, yeah. yeah I, I've never really understood it either. Uh, Would it not take more electricity to close the light bulb? Well, or the, the like the the circuit yeah and then open it back up yeah I think I would imagine it would take more power to keep flipping yeah. on and off than it would I would think to... so yeah but... scientists tell us in the comments please, below please please <laughs> because I know the, the Harvard graduates listen to us yeah <laughs> that we are that is our prime demographic hell yeah <laughs> as I'm as I'm, talk, as I'm talking to someone on Facebook right now about Beyblades <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, another one of his hobbies. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, is, that was let a legit it, what was, hobby. What was their slogan? Let it rip? Yeah. Something like that. Let it That's rip. That's my slogan, chip. too. <laughs> Just life in general. <laughs> Just let it rip. <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I had to take a crap so <laughs> Oh, that's where this is going. <laughs> this is going so fast. At the thrift shop earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of that place and there's just this family hanging out on a couch. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to crop dust them. I was telling bathroom stories of the day. I was okay, going to tell the one about um, I went oh, yeah, to a yeah. public restroom and uh, there's this kid in there just attached to the urinal. Like he was <laughs> holding on to it like he, his arms were wrapped around like the plumbing and stuff on the top. And, like, he had his legs wrapped around, like, the bottom of it. Like, his feet were not on the floor. Like, he was clinging to this <laughs> urinal. Do you think Do you think they were just, like, maybe he had a brother in the stall and they were playing, like, The Floor is Lava or something? <laughs> no, like, I... The Floor is Piss. I, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> like, like, I don't... Like, it was just such a weird thing. Like, I don't remember if he was trying to use it. <laughs> like, I, I just... I'm not I sure. Hope, I hope he was. Like, I just, I just kept on going. I didn't, I didn't have time to ask questions. Nor was it the time or place <laughs> to interrogate a child. I don't know. I kind of feel like it was. Not my kid. Yeah. He's, probably, he's probably like a spy kid. He got in there and was just traversing the walls. Uh, you're trying to get to the ministry. You play, yeah. you play the floor is lava in the living room. You play the floor is piss in the bathroom. Oh, uh, I've worked in some places where you had to play that. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. I worked at McDonald's once upon a time, and we were cleaning up at the end of the night, and the one girl went in to clean the bathrooms, and she came running out. She's like. There's blood all over the floor in the bathroom. Clean it. I was like, yeah, you got the mop. What are you worried about? <laughs> it's not going to reach out and grab you. Uh, so I went in to look at it. No, it was ketchup on the floor. I was like, really? You're working at McDonald's. You should know the difference. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Should I tell that story I told you earlier? About what? About the, why I don't drink. You told me a story about why you don't drink? Yeah, the thing that put me off drinking. I know well, you I'll said tell something it again. about it, but I, don't I think clearly you forgot. Is it, your, is it your father's a severe alcohol addiction? No, he Mine. definitely doesn't have that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I, don't know. I just assumed he It was that. a mutual <laughs> friend of ours that I don't oh. want showing up at work. Okay. You know who I'm talking about. Yes. So it was him. He was drunk slash high. It was another oh, guy. I don't yeah. remember who the other guy was. It's really bothering me. <laughs> And it was another friend of mine, and we, we, we've all... No, our mutual friend is younger than us, right? Older. No, he's older than me. He's Anyways, than I, I had already graduated. He graduated a year or so beforehand. I was hanging out with them, and it was the next day after this had happened. But anyways, so they were all drunk and high, and the one guy was drunk and higher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the ground. And they didn't know what was going on. They weren't paying attention. They dragged him back to the little place they hung out. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize they drug him through glass. Oh. <laughs> cool. 
And he just <laughs> laid on the couch all night bleeding. They had to take him to the hospital the next day. And I was like, oh, I never want to drink. See, take it from someone with a little bit, a lot of bit, of experience. <laughs> you just have to be in control. Yeah, they definitely weren't. No, clearly they weren't because they drunk same, their friend through glass. That same place, uh, the guy, the kid that like lived there or whatever, it was my first time ever going over there and he had drinks out and he was like, hey, you want some tea? I like, yeah, I love tea. Uh-huh. Our mutual friend walked in and went, no, because he knows I don't do anything yeah. like that. It was mushroom tea. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you do you not know. want mushroom tea. I, I knew as soon as you said you want didn't some Didn't know it was a thing. Like, nope. Nope. Yeah. At that time, I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, no, you don't want that. Don't take That's terrifying. You don't know. Don't take anything from He's people you don't friend. know. Don't He's also, I mean, knowing the friend, I should have known. Right. Yeah. He's more <laughs> like an acquaintance, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got, we've got a, uh, a LARP friend. <laughs> One of his ideas was to initiate, initiate people into the unit with... Shroom tea. No, the trip. unit. Oh my god! No. Like, I can probably guess who that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. Jeez, yeah. that's a terrible idea. Oh my god, that's yeah. worse than hazing. Yeah, which I'm okay with hazing. Oh. <laughs> well, we were talking about doing that with somebody. Oh, one of the one once the, one of the younger members. He's gonna come to the park one day and join us. He's not a member yet. We were talking about just going after him with the glaives, the big weapons, <laughs> all of us versus him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It would be interesting to see how far he gets. Not very. Yeah, but if he did. We, we could do like a gauntlet type thing for new people. For the for our park? Our yeah. parks? No, we're not doing that. No? No. If you want to go in blood, if you want to be a yeah, blooded fair. member in blood pack, you're going to get the shit beat out of you. Yes. <laughs> if you want to be in our park in Ravenshurst, it's all good, man. Well, I guess Just, maybe if they want to go for that specific award. They could request. I guess even they could request anything of us. Oh yeah. We could we'll put do. it together for them. But yeah, and then like when we do tournaments and stuff, there's already that. I mean, you're already putting yeah. yourself out there to get your ass handed to you. Yeah, I guess that would be more of a unit thing. Yeah, yeah, but the the established unit, they're, they're, a lot of those guys are they've been fighting for like ten years. Yeah. Uh, or, <laughs> and uh, yeah, to become like you can, most, not anybody, but like if they like you, like you can join. But to become like what they call a marauder, like you have to go through a trial and you have to fight as many people as they can gather. So Lance did, right? Yeah, and uh, Tim did it as well. They're the only two actual ranked members of the unit. Um, but yeah, you have to fight as many people as they can get in an event. And you have to beat them. Lance had to beat them all twice in a row. Jeez. And you just fight till you're done. And you get, I think they gave you. 30 seconds to breathe in between if you wanted it. But other than that, that was it. Wow. You're fighting until you're done. He had to he had to win, I think it was like 24 fights or something like that. It was pretty intense. Wow. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Hell no. And they get, they, they don't, they usually don't waste their time with the guys that they know that you, that you can beat. They go get the really good guys. Right. Players. Yeah. The guys they think you can't beat. Yeah. And you've got to beat him. Oh, Sometimes wow. twice. Yeah. I think it la- I think he fought for 45 minutes to an hour. Wow. Yeah. Dag is intense. Mm-hmm. They, they're serious about their fighting. Oh, yeah. We watched... Um, there's a, another unit. Fairly big time unit. And we watched their trial while we were at the event for one of their guys. I wish I could have recorded Lance's. Yeah. That would have been so nice. Or since you, did you go? I was there, but yeah, I, you I was drumming. I was war drumming. Oh, fair, yeah. Because when I go to Dag, because I've got an umbilical hernia right here, so I can't fight. Uh, gotcha. Where your belly button is for the yep, people who yep, can't yep. see. Um, and they fight hard. Yes. So I will die. So <laughs> when I go to Dag events, I don't fight. I I have a I have a bass drum that I uh, wrapped in leather and I decorated it up. So I just war drum. So, huh. and that's that's fun. People fucking love it. Oh, I bet. I bet that gets people all yeah. Yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Like, I'm not, like, good. But you don't have to be good. To good know, enough. To yeah. Bang, bang, as long as you have bang. some kind of beat. <laughs> yeah. You have rhythm of some kind. People will get into it. It's and, featured and, pretty heavily in that the last uh, The Lion Nord video. 
Yeah. And then, like, I try to, like, if the battle slows down, I kind of try to match it. And, like, right, if I see right. people are getting, like, antsier and antsier, and then when it's, like, real heavy, I'm ba- faster and faster. Like, I try to do it like I'm scoring a movie. Right, like, yeah. And people loved it. Like, I showed up at a completely different game, a few, like, a month later, and people were like, oh, you were that guy. You are the guy with the drum. Like, people definitely remembered me and heard huh, about me. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> you going to bring that to Midrain? If Blood Pack shows up. Because I only drum for Blood Pack. Oh, okay. That's my... I'm like the Blood Pack drummer. They better show up. Yeah, guys. Fucking show. Both up. Midrains. Yeah. I mean, mad as hell if they don't. You need like, to tell them now. Free, I, they know. I've told them. Yeah. But then again, well, our first park day, our co-leader, I text him if he was coming. He's like, what's going on today? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sounds about I right. can tell him until I'm blue in the face. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll get on there right now, I'll do it. I'll go ahead and remind them. And tell them that they need to listen to the podcast. It's a special reminder on yeah. there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it'll be, you should look at the LARP. <laughs> Just do it every once in a while. <laughs> You've you got the I, look. I've got the look. I don't have anybody to go with. Take Rachel. Man. Rachel does not want to LARP. I can tell you right now, <clears throat> you don't need to bring anyone with you. If, if you go to oh, a good, I can stop event, going. <laughs> you go to a card event... <laughs> They will just be like, they will draw you in. Oh, and I'm sure. Be like best friends. Like I don't, I can't make friends. I'm super antisocial. Like <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> I talked to you when you walked through the door today. <laughs> but like some of the people I met at the event, like the first like big event I went to, we like we talk almost every day. Like best fucking friends. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Actually, I'm gonna look it up for you. Uh, oh, <laughs> LARP? Yeah. I'm not going to ask you exactly where you live because we're recording right now. But right. I'll, I'll get some, uh, like, a general area and uh, I'll let you know. But I'm going to get on to my guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> but. You need to go to a Renaissance Festival or have you been to one? We go every year. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. So we're going next year again to uh, the Bay Area one. There's one right up the, well, I say right up the road. It's, it's really further than yeah. that. But for sake of conversation it's right up the road from our house we go every year it's fun how is Hogtown compared to the barf <laughs> the barf the Bay Area Renaissance say? Festival oh barf. okay <laughs> um Hogtown I think Hogtown's a little smaller yeah um we have to go back they're to... equally as fun yeah okay. no no Bay Area's bigger I think Bay Area's a little bigger a little more fun because Hogtown's in a field, right? Yeah. So that's the cool thing about the, the Bay Area one is it's in the woods. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just... Yeah. That's how the but one is back home. The one that's even more in the woods, though, it, it comes around in November, I think. Where's so that? So it's a little cooler. It's uh, Lady of the Lake. It's in Tavares. Oh, And okay. now that I've been to a handful of different ones, I can say that one is my favorite. Really? Oh, okay. It feels more authentic. We're going to have to go with that. Yeah, I just, I had a blast. Yeah, there's so much fun. And, like, I already hate the state fair. (laughs) (laughs) Like, it's just, like, I was talking to a friend about that recently. Like, did you go to the fair? And I was like, no. You mean, like, the county fair or the state fair? county or state fair. It's the same one they have. The one they have down by the racetrack? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a dumpster fire. Yeah, but so is the state fair. (laughs) It's the same garbage. Oh, I've never been to the state fair. Yeah. yeah we, just, we didn't go to no fancy shit like that growing it's up. It's not right. fancy. It's the same thing as the county fair. Just there's more rides. More um, opportunities to get killed. Yeah, I don't I don't do rides. <laughs> I don't, I don't but do the freaking... Like I was convincing her. I'm like, stop going to the county or the state fair. Go to the Renaissance Festival. It's oh, just yeah. such a unique experience. Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's really cool. Even if it's the same thing every year... I hope it's the same thing next year. Exact same thing, because we didn't get to do everything. More or less. <laughs> we went... Yeah. When we went this year... Well, it doesn't come around this year. When we went last year, they had uh, scotch scotch eggs. 
We were going to get those. Yep, and we, we forgot. Yeah, what what are they? I have no idea, but okay. they are delicious. All right. Oh, you tried it? Oh, absolutely. It, isn't it ground beef and then an egg inside? I think so. Yeah. It's, or it's sausage on the outside and It's egg some kind of meat on the outside and then like a hard-boiled egg on the inside. Maybe hard-boiled. I want. Good. I want to say it's hard-boiled. Either way, it was delicious. Is the yo- the oak runny? I don't remember. This, that would be this. This was so at, this was like at least six months ago. I really don't remember that far back. Yeah. <laughs> we had good eggs. We had fucking great breakfast. Have you been to the Hen House? Oh, no, yeah. where's that? At? You need to go there. Downtown Inverness. Oh, okay. I know where it's at. It's so good. Yeah, that was good. Holy crap! Huh. I got a couple of eggs, hash browns, and ha- and the corned beef hash. Mm-hmm. It was so good. His dad got biscuits and gravy. looked awesome. Huh. Just fantastic. It's obviously homemade. They have homemade right. bread, which was really good. Sounds I, good. Yeah, I, 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 would, I love breakfast places. I got a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. Breakfast is my favorite meal. Mine's and, of course, Huddle House is right down the road. But, nah. That's going to be like the generic version of it, basically. I'd, I'd go to Waffle House over Huddle House any day. I've Same. never been to a Waffle House. What? Never been to the one in the Yeah, what? Have you, ever, have you ever been drunk? No. <laughs> That's why you've never been to a Waffle House. Like right Waffle. there. <laughs> I, like, fair enough, fair enough. I like Waffle House. Okay, I'm not saying there aren't exceptions oh, okay. to the rule. Denny's is the best, though. Yep. Yeah. All right. Wait, <laughs> We've all agreed. <laughs> Even the PlayStation. Yeah, the PlayStation was like, yep. But yeah, if you've never found yourself drunk at, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's probably why you've never been to a Waffle House. <laughs> All right, now, there was one time, though, I was around a bunch of drunk people, <laughs> and we were in a wrestling school about 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and wrestlers ate a Waffle House. And, and we got hungry, and we went to the Huddle House. And uh, some guy tried to get, uh, he tried to get Brooks to give him a ride home or something. <laughs> and we were like, no, 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 no. And we went back to the, the wrestling school, and we had this, like, drunken, <laughs> drunken free-for-all. And we and it was wrestlers, um, guys who played in a metal band, and just, like, guys we hung around with. <laughs> it was one of the best nights of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Oh. We saw a, uh, speaking of uh, low lifes, we saw a low life today at Target. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the guy robbing Target. Why did you have to think about that? Uh, uh, just making sure we didn't see anybody I actually knew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we walked into Target and we turned around and there's this guy, like, dodging these three other guys with his backpack on and then he just decides to, like, burst through the automatic sliding doors and off he went. I wish he had just hit the door and knocked out. Because <laughs> that would have just made my fear. <laughs> Like witnessing one of those like America's Funniest Home Videos type things. Yeah. Like the emergency doors shouldn't just pop open that easily. Well, that's why I know. Just saying for <sighs> security reasons. <laughs> they should just recognize that there's a guy running at us. It's like, <laughs> no. Why didn't they just grab you shall him to not begin pass. with? What's that? I don't know why they wouldn't have just grabbed him to begin with. I mean he was this close to him. <laughs> Yeah, this, is this? I I don't know if they're employees or not. Who cares? Well, if they're employees, you can't necessarily go after people like that. Bullshit! If he's stealing from the store, your no. ass is mine. No, you're not allowed to go after shoplifters. His head would have went through the door, <laughs> and the company would have got sued. That's okay. I stopped him. I'm telling shoplifters. We used to deal with it at Office Max. You let them go. Yeah, I think it's crazy, but yeah, That's in like so retail dumb. stores. Unless well, you can get them before they leave and you can prove that they stole something. Yeah. yeah wow. Cause there's Then there's uh, the theft prevention teams in certain stores like Target. And they don't have those anymore. I didn't even know that was Walmart a thing. Walmart doesn't. No? Nope. We had one guy in Office Max. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a crew. It's like... It really used to be. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how long ago did they get rid of them? Because I know, like, it wasn't too long the ago. The greeters were the last member of the that team to get let go, and they got they, that program's gone. The greeters were usually like ninety eight year old. Ladies. I know, but they were part of the lost prevention. Team. <laughs> uh, they're gonna stop them. <laughs> well, they would recognize it. But they got replaced by the the detective thingies. Those greet you now. 
No, they've had them since then. Mm, well, maybe. No, I know for sure. For yeah. a fact. But, I mean, they got rid of greeters. Greeters were the last part of member of that there team. Were, there were greeters last time I went to Walmart. They brought them back, yeah. Yeah. But I don't think they're part of loss prevention. No, because they're 98 year old <laughs> Anyway, They struggle Walmart. to get you a shopping cart. <laughs> they ain't stopping nobody. Yeah. Walmart got rid of their loss prevention program, as far as I know. Most stores did. I don't know why. Because they probably didn't help much. And yeah, maybe not. Because I know Lance's dad used to mess with them. Because he, he worked in Walmart for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and, like, he used to mess with them all the time. Lance's dad sounds like a character. Oh, he is. <laughs> we get Lance on the podcast just to talk about his dad. Oh, <laughs> that can't be published. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from some of the stuff I saw at the house, yeah. <laughs> Seems like an interesting, interesting place. Let's <laughs> leave it at that. But yeah, I don't... The loss prevention thing, like, we, we would be able to... Like, if we knew somebody was trying to steal something, like, there was a handful of people we knew stole from us, we'd follow them around. Just like, hey, how you doing? Looking for anything? No? Well, uh, what you in here for? Just just bug them. They would leave. We had some people come in. There was some scam. Some people had figured out how to buy the credit cards, like the $100 Mm -hmm. gift Mm -hmm. cards for, like, $10. It was some fake coupon or something. Really? And they came into our store after corporate had figured it out. They were not happy. They were freaking out, and they took off before the cops got there. And Jeez. I was like, yeah, what you're doing is illegal. She was like, yeah, you have to give us service or something. I'm like, no, we Gosh, don't. That is don't not know. how it works. <laughs> I hate that. Customer now that I've been right. in like retail and restaurants and everything for so long, I hate that the customer is always right. That is oh yeah, just because not true. the customer's wrong most of the time. The customer always gets transferred to retentions. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how that works. The customer always gets to talk to somebody else. <laughs> they don't deal with that shit anymore. But yeah, it's like, hey, I don't get paid to manage that. No. I, I've had jobs where I got paid to manage that and I didn't like doing it either. Nope. That's why I don't work with the uh, general public. Yeah, I wish I didn't. Brian just deals with the old public. I still worry. I still work with idiots. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) I work with plenty of stupid people, but it's not the general public. (laughs) They're still worse. (laughs) I hate that my job just hires everybody because it's so obvious by just like the basic things they don't know how to do. Like speak English. I don't know, because I don't directly talk to them. But some of them, yeah. But, and there's yeah. just some people just have no idea how to handle John. basic situations. Go and... John Smith. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. From Shlabadab Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah. Or the, the guy's name's Sarah. <laughs> That's my favorite. That oh. makes me laugh every time. Oh, I was like, my God. Yeah, really? How like, you doing, Sarah? Like, like my dad this morning. I am Ryan from Lecanto, Florida. <laughs> sure you are, buddy. <laughs> Absolutely. I've had people get upset and say I'm not in the States. Like, I am. I want to convince you otherwise. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Can I have your last name? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you may not. You can have a nice day, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I can't do that. Fortunately, I wish I could just click it off, <laughs> but can't do that. So, did you want to tell the <laughs> the gun story from Georgia? I don't wish I, yeah, that was. Oh, I've got a gun story for you. you go ahead and tell yours first, then. So, I was talking to a friend of mine, and that's where we'll. That's how far we'll go with that one. All right. About. A gun he purchased. He bought a sawed-off shotgun. No. Well, it wasn't sawed off enough. So, he sawed it off the rest of the way. All right. (laughs) And then completely took the stock off and put a pistol grip on it. So, he bought a sawed-off shotgun like this long. 
now it's like this long. And it's Ooh. not it's not double barrel, single barrel. Right. And then made a holster for it. So he can carry it around with him. Oh no. And it is I na- gone it first. is <laughs> nasty. It is nasty. Oh man. Whew. My phone's trying to send more security with your phone. It's freaking out right now. Yeah, you should probably just uh, go outside and burn that. <laughs> it's taking over. It's Burned gonna start. It's gonna charger. start like Alexa laughing and shit now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad I don't have my. I didn't have my Alexa plugged in when that was going on. Oh boy. I told my wife. I said, <laughs> if ours starts doing that, we're not throwing it away. We're burning it. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm gonna beat it with a hammer. I will make sure that thing never makes another noise, ever. <laughs> it's the Destiny Ghost I got today. Oh, man. That's cool. My lovely fiance got me. Oh, uh, yeah, the good story. We were all. Um, so, we went up, like I said, we were in. I think I said it. We were up in Georgia yeah. for a LARP event. And um, the park was right along a river. I don't know what river. Super. Pictures of it in the video. Yeah. It was a super nice part. I mean, it was, it was awesome. And can I just say that if you go watch that video, notice Brooks thinks he's a photographer, but takes beautiful pictures. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he also took that one that, that shot uh-huh. from behind. Uh, All of your of pictures, right? Yeah, I haven't taken any. He's your photographer. <laughs> yeah. I think I've taken some on my phone, but they've never made it. They're like on my own stuff. He, right. like Brooks has taken like fantastic pictures. Huh. We should just get him a camera that doesn't record the video. We did. <laughs> we did. We did that with a Kodak camera. We talked I'm about sorry, Brooks. Here. I should have said that out loud. <laughs> I love you, Brooks. What? Oh, we'd have, we have to find him a new nickname. He couldn't be Tripod anymore. No, you can still use Tripod. You point and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he was actually given the name Tripod. Which yeah. Was great. And we were walking around at, at a, an event in Ocala. And someone was like, "Hey, tripod, what are you doing? What are you doing?" And he told me about it. I was like, well, "Looks like your name's fucking tripod now, bud." <laughs> we <I'm> were. Like, <laughs> I went to a wedding Saturday. Mm-hmm. My buddy got married. His younger brother's like nineteen. I think he's almost twenty. Old enough to drink at his brother's wedding. Right. <clears throat> well, this is the first time he ever got drunk. <laughs> And turns out he's a happy drunk, which is a good thing. That's good. Because every other word was, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Man, you need to puke and get this out of your system so you don't get hung over in the morning. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> so we all go to bed. I didn't tell you this yet because it just hit me. Okay. <laughs> we all go to bed. And then his stepmother happens to look out the window she's like oh my god he's out there running around in his underwear like four in the morning <laughs> out by the fire pit running around in his underwear oh that's good <laughs> so she goes wrangles him up brings him back to town. <laughs> and then in the morning when the rest of us wake up right he's still not in bed anymore he's sleeping in the car <laughs> he's still in his underwear chain that kid up that's so funny. so now his nickname, which was the whole point of that story, his nickname's Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. <laughs> At least he kept him on. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, he did. He That's kept good. him on. I don't yeah. think he was that drunk. <laughs> he had the decency to do that. But yeah, the gun story. So we were at... Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry. I definitely <laughs> cut you off, but I'm from Pennsylvania. That's what we do. Uh, so <laughs> we're lined up for the, uh, the next battle. And we hear... A super loud bang. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh shit, we're getting shot at. <laughs> to where some weird looking people in the middle of the woods. And right. Georgia. And uh, the captain of our team, she looks back at me and uh, I'm assuming everyone else, so I don't feel, you know, singled out on this one. But she's like, <laughs> yeah, it's South Georgia, there's a gun range around the corner, and we're fine. Right. Uh, cool, whatever, you know. Um, and just like probably about 200 feet away, like down the road a little bit, I see this guy run across to his truck. Oh. And I see this guy right behind him limping as quickly as he can <laughs> to the truck. And a bunch of our people take off. And, uh, you know, one was, was Brooks. He's got 
some medical training for you know being a coach, right, and right, handling that kind of stuff. We got the guy running everything, you know. He went because he's kind of running everything. Um, there's one chick. She was a, uh, a medic in the Navy, I believe they said. So they're like, let her go. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they they basically like ran down and ran right back because the truck took off, and they're like. That guy shot himself in the foot. <laughs> so you said one guy ran to the truck and the next guy limped. Yes. <laughs> what was the first guy doing? <laughs> that he couldn't help his buddy. <laughs> Can you think he at least helped him back to the truck? <laughs> what an asshole. Some friend, huh? <laughs> and then later on, now we I can't confirm or deny anything on this one, but later on, the because I think they're getting their boat out of the river. Yeah. They never got their boat <laughs> on the trailer. Oh, no. So another truck comes up later on, backs right up, gets the boat, and takes off. And we're like, oh, maybe they were just picking up the boat for the guy. Apparently not. I don't I know. The guy, they, they were just picking up the boat. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Because the, the, the trailer was still there. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Grand Theft Marina. Yeah, <laughs> Marina. The sun was like, that, good. that guy could be having the worst day ever. He could. He lost his boat. May have lost part of his foot. Right. Who knows? Lost his dignity. Yeah. At the very least. Oh, and we were the ones in costume. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you were the biggest idiots that day. Yeah. And we were running around dressed as pirates and shit, and hitting each other with foam sticks. And... Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I really want to know what the pro- thought process. Sorry, I'm just hung up on that. <laughs> like, was he scared of the wound? Oh, <laughs> Everybody's falling. I'm like, no, look at it. Like well, you. Like me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm getting attacked by thieves. I got a. I got a big blister on they the back of show my. Him. You don't you? Don't have to. Show I'm people. not gonna. Just got a bandaid on. I'm not gonna show him. I got a big blister on the back of my foot. I think I've told shoes. you this. Because I was here when he sent it. Oh, no, was I? I don't think so. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, he, he he's telling me. Yeah, though, I was here because I was saying if you wanted to hang out last night. Yeah. And you were just saying, like, I'm tired or whatever and got this blister. Yeah. And next thing I know, there's a picture on my phone. I'm looking at it like, oh, <laughs> this is a nasty ass blister. I'm like, I didn't need to see that. <laughs> Unsolicited blister pick? Yeah. yeah. I know it was like to be a chick. <laughs> Unsolicited blister pick. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> oh, God. You're welcome. Uh, can I have the blister pick as a thumbnail? <laughs> oh, do you I'm want to? Yeah, absolutely. Not... Do you want me to send it to you again right now? I mean, I could Photoshop it so it doesn't show the blister, but that means I have to look at the blister longer, so no. <laughs> It's pretty and, and much closer. You're giving me a Photoshop. Yeah, right? no, we're not. No, don't send it. Looking at it <laughs> pixel by pixel. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. It wasn't that bad. It was a blister that broke open. I don't know. I half looked at it, so I don't know. It's just know. a blister that broke open. The only the only problem is it's the size of like a silver dollar. Oof. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Doesn't sound fun. No. Pretty much, the, it's like and the opposite of fun. This morning at breakfast, we were talking about that, and Dad's like. They sent you a picture of his toe, and I'm like, probably at some point. I think I'm missing a toe for anybody yeah. that doesn't know. I think that's been mentioned on a podcast before. Probably. I like to talk about it because everyone goes, "What?" <laughs> Chopped off by a lawnmower, right? I'm more like graded off by a lawnmower. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> It's sick because I laugh about it. Well, you're sick. It looks fresh, too. What do you mean it looks fresh? It looks like sewn on. I mean, it ain't no fresh Prince of Bel Air, but. Well, you can still see the mark. Will Smith on the toe. Yeah, that's a a scar. (laughs) You know, I could probably do, like, the tip where the scar is. I could probably make it look like a little afro. (laughs) You should tattoo where it is. Toe Toe Smith. No. Fresh prints of my right foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely not. There goes Jess making more noise. And the cat now, too, because she's out there. Are you glad <laughs> to him or me? Hmm? Should just be him. 
This is overall glares. I didn't glares say for all. Except probably Kim. <laughs> she sleeps at the time. She is. She going. <laughs> you know what? Time for me to go to sleep. Yep, let's go oh, ahead and wrap man. this up. Thank you for listening, guys, for the first and hopefully not last podcast that we all did to do in the same room. <laughs> it will probably be a little while before I'm back down. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can go up there and visit you. Yeah. We should go for DAG. If we ever go to Ragnarok. We'll We're all staying with you. <laughs> Blood pack. That, um, that will not fly. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's attempting that right now. If it- I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now, that won't fly in my house. No. And not because of me. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, maybe partly because of me. <laughs> yeah, you... It's good as him. Once you, once you meet, you know, the crew... You if know, I, I, if I knew him, it'd be one thing. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening to this podcast. Uh, where can they find you on social media, Brian? Um, on Twitter at BrianMan25 or Instagram at BrianMan1138. Bob? Oh my! YouTube, Twitch, all those good things. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube, but honestly, I don't recommend it. <laughs> you need to start dumping your stuff on there. I haven't even been doing anything. You need to start dumping your load in there. Just put, yeah, <laughs> YouTube don't need my load, buddy. You can't do that on YouTube. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can find some videos. <laughs> uh, could. You can find me on Twitter at. Doug theme song. Thank you. Holy crap. That's like my favorite thing I've accomplished in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, twitch.tv slash blackbeardbob sometimes. Did you get that? Yeah. Nice. Did you change it or did you make a new one? No, I changed it. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. And, I think you and... get like one name change. Oh, okay. And that's it. And you made a good one. I did. Blackbeard Bob. You can find me on YouTube at Best of the Realm, twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm. Twitter at Best of the Realm, Facebook Best of the Realm Gaming, Instagram. No, my Instagram is just Future Villains now. But you can find all of this stuff. You can find all the LARP videos. Yep. The LARP podcast is under this podcast now. I guess we're not doing a wrestling podcast this week unless we're doing Friday. Because <laughs> things have just been so jumbled this weekend. But oh well. I, I will tell you, May is going to be hard. It's going to be interesting. May is going to be hard. You can find all the future villain stuff on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Twitter at Future Villains. I am so used to saying at Best in the Realm. Twitter at Future Villains. Facebook is Future Villains Entertainment. I need to brush up on all this shit. Instagram is Future Villains. YouTube, Future Villains. We also have a Twitch that I need to start updating. Twitch.tv slash Future Villains. I think that's Future Villains Entertainment. I don't no. know. No, I think it's... I don't know. I'm Facebook is Future Villains Entertainment. Somebody else has that. And then you can find all of this wonderful content on futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. What are you doing? You're going to throw me off. That's the point. Jeez. You know what the problem with this podcast was? What's up? It mentioned Moana once. I know, this, this podcast <laughs> almost didn't happen because of Moana. It was almost <laughs> called the Moana cast. <laughs> Moana's a great movie. Sure. What's the last word, Bob? Bob. Oh, it's Bob?